Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries June 9, 2022. Your appeal is strong today, and your desire to express and enjoy yourself runs high. However, Saturn stations and turns retrograde today, and responsibilities can hang heavy in the air as the shift occurs. A change in perspective is likely over the coming months while Saturn is retrograde, particularly related to your friendships, networking, and long-term happiness goals. A review of career or life path goals might also be in store. It's helpful to recognize that you have enough time to resolve problems and that efforts to build and restructure are beneficial for you in the long run. Increases or expansion may lead to stress rather than joy right now, so do your best to tone things down and bring order to what you have in place. Focusing on current projects can be rewarding. Consideration of what your friends or group associations mean to you is crucial now. This week, you may feel the weight of responsibilities quite heavily. However, as you adjust to this retrograde motion, you'll see the benefits of structure in these areas of life. Perhaps you would rather ignore the day's planetary lineup, which may be forcing you to look rather too closely at certain facts of yourself that you may not be quite ready or able to face up to. Your partner, though, is entirely willing that you should see these things, and will probably go to great lengths to point them out. See what needs truly seeing, and then discard the rest. Just as Mercury stations direct yesterday, you can count on Saturn to station retrograde in Aquarius today. From now until October, Saturn retrograde in Aquarius is going to be rethinking, reviewing, then revising your professional communities and aspirations. Since this is in an air sign, you may notice that the way you view, think, and speak about these aspects will change over time. Saturn retrograde is encouraging you to consider working with genuine individuals and communities even if they are unconventional. You will be called to use your innovation as you follow your unique professional dreams. As Mercury spends his first weekend in direct motion in your income sector, this has not only given income matters the green light but in her final weeks here, this has given Venus a better chance to start attracting income potential. Yet it was while Mercury had the brakes on that this has given you time to explore your options and better understand your expectations. Use this time to renew contacts with your family. They will be pleased and you might even be able to resolve old conflicts, as a mediator or by taking the first step to clear matters up. The constellation is favorable for burying the hatchet once and for all. Oh, come on. Take a risk already. You're usually too humble to think you're capable of such an amazing accomplishment, but all you need to do is take that final, crucial, daring step. In touch with your emotions, you are fortunate to be so clear about your feelings which helps you decide exactly what to do. Whether you are looking for casual dates or interested in starting a more serious relationship, you make the right choice. Start planning how best to best pursue your own happiness. Once you have formed an opinion, you usually stick to it. Your goal in life is to develop true self-confidence that comes from within. Your independence of thought enables you to find the right path leading to a good balance, but you tend to easily lose it in a moment of eccentricity. The best practice to combat this is regular yoga, the gentle firming up of your muscles accompanied by the gentle release of negative energy. This day is sure to see you getting a great deal accomplished. And with your energetic nature, this will suit you just fine. The essence of the vibration that is occurring will give you the energy and focus you need. Along with this, organization and concentration are sure to be enhanced, as well. Let this vibration work to your advantage by tackling the tasks that await you. The time will probably fly by for you, leaving enough energy for fun this evening. In a case of perfect timing, the moon returns to your relationship sector just five days after Mercury, the planet of communication turned direct but also to find the sun in your communication sector. However, what really makes the timing auspicious is that this first visit since Mars return to Aries could evoke some strong emotional and passionate responses and even push some buttons. That might sound like good news but this is key to taking advantage of the near-perfect communication conditions. 
The moon returns for its ordinary monthly visit to your relationship sector today, only to find some extraordinary conditions in play. This is a chance to become more emotionally engaged while this first visit since Mars return to Aries will also put a balance between your personal and relationship needs to the test. Fortunately, while you still have the sun in your communication sector. Our eyes in the sky. As the moon spends its last hours in attention-seeking Virgo today, this is your last chance to make it all about you. This fiery emotional lunar combo loves to make you the center of everything, so even if you're shy at heart, you might actually enjoy being in the spotlight a little more than usual now. And since all eyes will be on you, why not look your best? This is prime primping energy, so make those hair and money petty appointments ASAP. Clothes shopping is fun now too, as is taking more selfies from more fantastic angles than seem humanly possible. Although there's no social media posting limit, maybe there should be. No matter how good you look, people might be tired of seeing you live your best life by the time the day is over. But overall, not a bad problem to have. There's not a whole lot to complain about today unless you're looking extra hard for it. In the morning, the Virgo moon trines Uranus in Taurus, stimulating our intuition. The day ahead forecasts significant twists and turns, when riding the wave will make us magnets for serendipity. Although surprises and shakeups serve to release us from self-imposed limitations, the trine is also what is considered an easy aspect. This means that we can miss its most constructive effects if we are content to stay in the house. We don't have to go out of our way to use this influence to our full advantage. Try taking a different road to work, sampling a new cuisine, or volunteering to teach someone a skill you've cultivated. In the process, we'll place ourselves just enough outside our comfort zone, communicating to the universe our interest in an upgrade. Shortly following this, the moon squares off with the Gemini sun, prompting us to review events that have transpired since the May 30th Gemini new moon. Intentions were set for manifesting social connections that could aid us in sharing our voices within our communities. We might have begun ventures dealing explicitly with the spoken or written word, or undertaken research or investigative projects. Yet, now we find ourselves faced with adversity. Perhaps we are grappling with self-doubt. Or perhaps we are experiencing conflict with someone who has called our intelligence into question. If we adopt a know-it-all approach, we deny ourselves the opportunity to grow in our field of expertise. Remember, we are here to learn. Learning requires us to update our opinions when faced with new evidence. Don't deny yourself the chance for further self-development. We'll choose to express ourselves with acts of kindness and service to those we care about, who will then see our truest heart. Our need for variety can place us in situations where romantic engagements take a back seat. Ordinarily, asking for space won't be a problem here. It is more likely that issues will arise if we make our needs known improperly or fail to consider someone else's needs. The reverse may also be true, we feel neglected in some capacity by another, which makes us go looking for love in all the wrong places.